More than a thousand Alzheimer's patients around the world, including here, are about to take part in a drug trial that experts have great hopes for. The drug works in a completely different way to other medications, and earlier trials have shown that it can improve symptoms of Alzheimer's. Current medications for Alzheimer's disease work by boosting a chemical which is important for memory and which is deficient in Alzheimer's patients. But a new drug about to be tested in Australia has a completely different approach. Dimabon may do the same thing, may boost one of the chemicals that's important, but importantly it appears to act on mitochondria and mitochondrial damage appears to be part of the process of Alzheimer's disease. A large study published last year showed the medication improved patients' brain function and their behaviour. These are the most positive results yet we've seen for a drug in Alzheimer's disease. In the final hurdle before the drug can be released, researchers will trial the tablets on more than a thousand Alzheimer's patients around the world. Anne Leonard was diagnosed with the disease six years ago when she was 59. If uh, Anne could um, you know, remember a little bit more uh, than she can at the moment, I'm sure she'd be happier and, and you know, we would both be happy uh, if her memory could be improved by a, a, some new drug. All patients will take the standard treatment. Half will be given the new drug Dimabon. What we're hoping to see is a replication of the results that were shown in the first trial, which was a stabilisation or improvement of cognition, function and behaviour and general day-to-day -day abilities. Results of the trial are expected in around two years. Sophie Scott, ABC News.